Hey everyone, welcome back to Terramator Gardens. Today we're exploring a lesser known gem in the world of perennials, the toad lily, specifically the Triceratus formosana samurai. This unique plant is prized for its exotic flowers and ability to thrive in shady spots, making it a favorite among gardeners seeking something different. The toad lily hails from the shady forests and moist regions of East Asia, particularly Japan, Taiwan, and China. It was first described in the early 19th century and its intriguing name, Toad Lily, likely originates from the spotted appearance of its flowers, reminiscent of toad skin. The cultivar Samurai is a more recent introduction, celebrated for its variegated foliage and compact form. This particular variety was bred to highlight the best qualities of the species while being more adaptable to the garden settings. Its name, Samurai, reflects its strong, resilient nature, much like the ancient Japanese warriors. Native to the mountainous regions of Taiwan, this plant has adapted well to various temperate climates, making it a versatile addition to gardens around the world. Toad Lily is a perennial that stands out for its unique appearance. Growing to about 18 inches tall, this compact plant features lance-shaped leaves that are deep green with striking creamy white edges. This variegation adds interest even when the plant is not in bloom, making it an attractive foliage plant throughout the growing season. The flowers of the Toad Lily are truly something to behold. They are small, star-shaped, and intricately speckled with purple, pink, and white. Blooming from late summer to early fall, these delicate flowers appear at the end of stems and in leaf's axles, creating a stunning display that seems almost otherworldly. The flowers are often compared to orchids due to their exotic look, and they add a touch of unexpected to the garden just when many other plants are starting to fade. Toad Lily Samurai is well suited for gardeners who have shaded or partially shaded areas in their landscape. This plant prefers rich, well-drained soil that is consistently moist, but not waterlogged. It thrives in USDA hardiness zones 4 to 9, making it adaptable to a wide range of climates. To achieve the best growth, plant toad lily in a location that receives morning sun and afternoon shade, or dappled shade throughout the day. Full shade can be tolerated, but the plant may not flower as profusely. The soil should be slightly acidic to neutral, with a pH between 6.0 and 7.0. Regular watering is essential, especially during dry spells, as the plant's roots should never be allowed to dry out completely. Mulching around the base of the plant can help retain moisture and keep the roots cool. Fertilization should be done in the early spring with a balanced, slow-release fertilizer to encourage healthy growth and blooming. When considering companion plants for toad lily samurai, think about those that thrive in similar conditions. Hoistas, with their large broad leaves, can create a beautiful contrast with the finer foliage of the toad lily. Ferns also make excellent companions, providing lush green backdrops that enhance the delicate flowers of the toad lily. Additionally, the late blooming period of the toad lily makes a great companion for earlier blooming plants like Helleborus, which can provide interest earlier in the season. In addition to being a great choice for shaded garden beds, toad lily can be grown in containers, bringing its exotic beauty to patios or shaded balconies. The plant's ability to thrive in less than ideal light conditions make it a valuable addition to urban gardens or small spaces where sunlight is limited. Beyond its ornamental value, toad lily samurai can play a role in wildlife gardening. Its flowers, though small, are attractive to bees and butterflies and other pollinators, providing late season nectar. And that's it for our look at the fascinating toad lily samurai. Its unique flowers and adaptability make it a standout choice for adding interest to shaded areas in your garden. Thanks for joining us. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more plant profiles. Until next time.